After finishing the hot route or hot route, hoot route, that route I did from Chamonix to Zermatt, I met up with my wife in Paris, spent a couple days there, and then we came out here to Lotterbrunnen in Wengen. And while I'm here in Wengen, I'll be doing the Via Ferrata with my wife. And we're gonna test her metal against some steep decline over about two miles. They've got rebar drilled into the side of a cliff, a lot of cable to hold on to. She's gonna try her hand at some outdoor activities after swearing it off 10 years ago when I took her out for her first hike. And she said, why are we doing this? This is boring. I believe that the Iron Way, as the Via Ferrata translates, will be anything but boring. But for today, I'm just gonna finish running around in these mountains. And then tomorrow, we'll be taking the Iron Way down from Murin to almost the valley floor. Today I'll be doing an activity with someone who's less fit but slightly better looking than Kristoff and Blake. And that's this lady. And the reason I'm filming this is because Liz bragged for some time that she would not be scared. And what we're going to document is her sheer terror when she takes that first step out over the abyss. I don't have any fear of heights. I'll be fine. It'll be good. We made it to Murin after a train, a tram, and a train. And now we gotta rent the gear and hope that it's not too old and threadbare. I don't know what we rent. Harness. Helmet. Helmet, carabiners. Uh, gloves. Gloves. All the things necessary to do Iron Path. I'm liking that. Whoa. Liz and I have made it to the start of the Via Ferretta. Trail so far is anything but helmet worthy. I'm seeing some just casual tourists coming down with us. So uh, if we just suddenly don't see them ahead of us anymore, we'll know what happened. So far, no real fear to document on Liz's face, but should it happen, I'll be there to capture it. Waiting for Danny's drone to start working. I just want to get going. He thinks I'm going to be super scared. Wish me luck. It's a far drop. Danny's been asking me if this is a challenge. I mean, yeah, I don't climb mountains every day. I think the biggest challenge of this thing is that this harness is squeezing my butt really, really tight. And maybe Danny being concerned for my safety every five seconds, that might be the challenge, but it's been great. I don't know how much we've done or how much we have left. So far, it's been a pretty cool afternoon. Liz has been challenging. No, so easy. I could totally be on mediocre amateur all the time. That is the Lauterbrunnen via Ferretta. It's 
It's only two miles, but all two miles are enjoyable. Had a couple bridges, had some fun down climbs, and best of all, the wife didn't lock up in the middle of, this, of the descent. In fact, she made a point of proving she wasn't scared. And I found that slightly obnoxious because I can't have her falling to her death. We're just climbing up here to the tram. We'll take the tram back to Murin. Yeah, that's an easy one. I bet Christoph wish he had come on this one. <laughs> 